Welcome to Valentine's Day 2021, where practically any and every activity with a date can be considered a fantasy simply because the CDC has advised against doing literally anything. Anything. So, this year, it doesn't matter if you're single, taken, or flagged by Parle for having a concerning amount of cats. We're all in the same love boat for two. Howdy life partners, I'm Shay Weintraub. I had a crush on Simba and Nala growing up, which was very concerning for me because they're cartoon cats. Yeah. Uh, and this is Anchored, a roadie themed late night style low sodium option for the Ocean State sea saltiest opinions. Let's get to it. This week I took a page, or five, out of a Rhode Island travel book to offer up some date ideas that'll get you from the awkward Tinder date stage of dating to the less awkward, but just as terrifying, meeting their parents for the first time at Twin Oaks stage. <laughs> it's a real stage. <laughs> 100 Things to Do in Rhode Island Before You Get in a Relationship was written by local travel writer and amateur raccoon caller, Robert Curley. <laughs> for his book, Curley went all around the 10 inch radius of Rhode Island to find the top 100 must do activities that our state has to offer. And for this episode, I'm taking three of those activities and using my best, well, I don't know, I'm just regurgitating what I heard in therapy <laughs> advice to assure you have the best date possible. All right, number one, catch a game at Cardine's Field. Home of the college summer league Newport goals. This is for folks who are looking for that fever pitch experience, but at a low grade temperature price. Jimmy Fallon won't be there, but Little Jimmy, who's getting his high school community service hours, will. <laughs> and is your date going to be impressed that you memorized every player's name? The college they went to? Uh, or where they're projected to go in the 2023 MLB draft? <laughs> well, that depends, nerd. <laughs> Do you have anything else on your index cards? <laughs> That's not nerdy. That's literally my hobby. Next up, toast a patriot at Gatsby Days in Patuxet. See, these days when we drink a little bit too much at a tavern, we gain the gumption to ask out our crush. Or text our ex. <laughs> when John Brown and company did it in 1772, they burned down a boat. <laughs> so, this upcoming Gatsby Days, why not celebrate both? If you're into the idea of running into former high school classmates while you celebrate Liquid Courage, this, this is the date for you. This event not only gives you the opportunity to wow your date with your impressive Jeopardy knowledge of Rhode Island history, but it also gives you the chance to get another wear out of that old Navy 4th of July shirt from last year. It's a, it's a win-win in my book. <laughs> All right, so my favorite, make a late night stop for New York system wieners. Forget the first fight stage of a relationship. That's not the most stressful part. The most stressful part of a new relationship is the first fart and <laughs> there's nothing like a first date in New York system to get over that hurdle real quick. And this isn't a slight against the quality of New York system. No, no. Like a woman in her 30s, New York system knows exactly who they are and they will not apologize for it. <laughs> but I will warn you, this is a high risk, high reward situation and there's a sizable chance that if you go this route, the hot wieners will be the only all the way you're getting that night. <laughs> All right, switching gears now. As a bonus, this Valentine's Day, I got to cooking for someone that I love very, very dearly. Let's do a small pour. Okay, so. Cooking 
is a loose term, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. How to cook chicken. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I am doing this because I'm cooking for somebody who I've had my longest relationship with. I'm trying to say nice things. Oh my god, here. Come here. Captain? Say hi. Aww. Yeah. Okay. He's a little shy on camera. Um, awkward. Yeah, so Captain has a brother. Skipper! Stop scratching. <laughs> we don't really talk about him. He's like the forgotten child. Yeah. Uh, it was me that Parl was concerned about. <laughs> but how about we get to cooking? So, okay. Now I'm going to cut the weird little white things off of this chicken. I'm not saying it was divine intervention that my camera died right at that moment, but I'm not not saying th that's what that was. <laughs> Any hooters? That's all we have for tonight. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and most importantly, follow you into the dark Death Cab for Cutie 2005. Good night. <laughs>